Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. This message is for the collective. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what energy we have. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my star seed oracle deck. The spirit is telling me wisdom of oracle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my wisdom of oracle deck. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, to be fair. So we have balance here. We have to the sea and we have come to the edge. So somebody wants to have some type of fairness with you. Somebody wants to give you some type of balance. They have been in deep thought and contemplation about this and spirit has been all around them. Then we have the number seven and then 11 here. 38, 11, and then eight. Okay, so we have like a divinely gu guided connection that needs some type of balance. And then this person has come to the edge and they wanna go ahead and make some type of leap of faith because they know that's gonna lead them to abundance, right? Okay, what else do we have here? This person has definitely been watching you. They have been observing you and they have some type of never ending story, right? Um, they have these constant thoughts. They have these constant signs and synchronicities because they know that you are a very loyal person. You have a loyal heart and they know that with you, um, even though they have, may have had some type of questions, questioning that they did within their self, they know within you that they're definitely, um, is loyalty, right? And I have eight here again. So this would definitely be a very abundant connection and they know that. Then we have fork in the road in reverse. So it was definitely like this person had a decision to make and they just couldn't make up their mind. They didn't know which way to go and they couldn't make up their mind. So this caused a lot of chaos and conflict in this person's um, situation in, inside their self, right? There was a lot of chaos and conflict because it was like they led you on and were not completely honest with you because they were not ready to make up their mind, right? We need to be grown enough to be able to effectively communicate, at least to be honest, right? And now this person is going through some type of regeneration process where they have to build that shit from the ground up um, because they were acting very fake and phony. And the people that they were reaching out to in the community, um, the people in their family, their friends, in their friend group, whatever it may be, they did not know the correct advice to give this person, right? Because they had a lack mentality and they were reaching out to people to ask for advice from others that had a lack mentality as well. And whenever you're feeding off of lower vibrational energies and you're asking for advice for from lower vibrational energies, somebody that's not thinking about unconditional love, somebody that's not thinking about positivity, somebody that's not taking all, all aspects into account, account, right? Then it's not gonna be successful. It's, it's just not, right? Because somebody tells you to do something that's lower vibrational, like ignore somebody or um, do something that's lower vibrational, like um, not like like ghost somebody or something that's lower vibrational, like lie to somebody, you know, any type of lower vibrational behavior, that's just coming back as ten, tenfold. And you're understanding that you're, this person is seeing their self clearly and understanding that they were being very fake and phony. They, they had this false mask on and they did not gain anything from doing that they they really just lost they did the only thing they did was lost right they lost faith people having faith in them they lost um trust all of that shit and they know that they don't want to mess up this this thing if they if it's not already too late and we have eight here again because they know that this would be a abundant type connection they know that this would be great happiness right they know that they could have great happiness with you and not making up their mind or being an indecision, which is of the devil, has really, like, it, it's really fucked up their whole situation. Then we have grief and adversity. Yeah, it's caused them a lot of grief. It's caused them a lot of adversity because, you know, you can't do a person that means you nothing but good, an earth angel, somebody that is very much so, um, like, on your team, somebody that is rooting for you. Whenever you do somebody that's honestly and wholeheartedly rooting for you wrong, that's just coming back tenfold. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. 
Then we have main person. So this one, this is a feminine energy. So this person has definitely been seeing signs and synchronicities about you. This person definitely knows that they want to make you their, their main person in their life. They want to be able to focus on you. Success and love. Um, so they do want some type of successful love situation with you. And they have been led to do that because they know that this is a connection. The song I just have is make it last forever. They've been having a lot of gloomy, lower vibrational thoughts around them because they haven't been able to get right with you, right? So now they want to take a long journey and they, they hope that it does last forever. They hope that any type of lower vibrational um, um, energies around them, they're letting that shit go. They're burying that shit. That shit is laid to rest, right? That they, They're mourning that shit and they're understanding they had to let that shit go for a reading. Then we have meeting as well as sad news and receiving a gift. So there is going to be some type of meaning that you guys have. And during this meeting, it's not going to be all gravy, right? It's not going to be all good news. It's going to be them telling you the truth. Some shit might make, might make you upset. Some shit might make you angry. Some shit is going to be shit that you asked them for about previously that they lied about. And they're just going to go ahead and let that shit lay all on the table because they're tired of being up in their head. They're tired of not having this access to you like they would like. And they're tired of not... You know, being honest and having to constantly see reminders, constant dreams, constant thoughts, constant um, constant synchronicities about this whole situation. So this conversation is not going to be all good. But at the end of the day, you're going to have free will and you're going to, they, they do want to give you some type of gifts and let you know that, hey, they fucked up and this, this, and this, and this, and that was what was going on. Um, but they want to get that shit right to now, right? And it's going to be up to you. And they want to go ahead and be able to meet your expectations and be the main person in your life. We have that masculine energy. And then we have the high honor. And this may happen at some type of house that both of you are familiar with. And they do want to have some type of structure in this connection because they have been feeling nothing but sickness. They've been feeling nothing but illness for not being able to get right. They've been wanting to go ahead and get back with you. And they know that they're going to have to change in order to do so. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.